So what is going on guys, this is Ryan here, and welcome back to Resident Evil 3. This game is taking us down some crazy routes, man. Right now, we're holed up in Kendo's gun shop, man. We're getting flashbacks to Resident Evil 2. Some of the shelves have still got some of the stackings on them. We got green herbs and little attachments for our weapons, of which we're gonna take all of them. This world, though, has gone absolutely crazy. Everything has turned upside down, and we are in the midst of trying to get out of this mess. There really isn't a whole lot more I can say about this, guys. All that's left for us to do is get going with this adventure. And if you guys want that part full of good stuff, click it likes. Let's do it. All right, so the first thing we saw was this semi... What was that? Semi-auto shock? Barrel? A custom part for the M3 shotgun designed for semi-auto fire allows for more rapid firing while also reducing spread for greater power. So it's got two benefits right there. Combine that straight up. Oh yes, now that shotgun is looking a lot more premium. Yeah, I see this on the shelf over here. Explosive type A. We haven't crafted anything with that yet. We've got of course some green herbs of which we already can't take. That is one thing we've soon learned with this game. The inventory space rapidly reduces and it's really hard to actually manage guys. Now can I open? I can still open the door. Ooh. Whoa. Okay. I never thought we'd still see the building in the back burning right there. It makes me wonder if in Resident Evil 2, if we looked at that thing, would it have been on fire? Like, I kind of want to see how much these two games link together. Kendo as well is clearly looking after someone who seems to be kind of sick. Let's see if we actually go back here. Will he say anything optional to us? Can we get here? It's all right, Pumpkin. It's all right. That's a good girl. Oh, man. Is that all he says right there? Can we see inside? No? Okay, dang it. Guys, that's all he says already. There's nowhere else we can go back here. Look at this. It just blocks us off here. So we gotta take Kendo's key. Kendo's gate key. Let's see what exactly that might be. And inventory again is full. Okay, for now, I'm gonna make some more shotgun ammo. I feel like that's gonna be something we definitely need more of. We'll take the first aid spray to... I don't think I need to worry about anything else. So now we can get Kendo's key. Let's see where this thing takes us then. I kind of want to read here. So it unlocks the gate outside Kendo's shop, granting access to the alleyway. Is this an alleyway we've seen before in that case? Because maybe it won't be. Let's do this, guys. This one. Aha! Now, I remember this alleyway from the DLC we played in uh, Resident Evil 2, the Ghost Survivors DLC. Let's uh, open this up. Let's get this going, man. Let's get some nice fit. Kendo, you weren't lying, my friend. Please stay safe as well, man. Gosh, must suck the situation he's in looking after a little girl right there. Let's go. Listen, dude, if you get back up, I will blow your face off, okay? Put up gentle jab. Ooh, we already knew he was gonna... That guy's mutating back there. So we're gonna pop his head off, just like we promised. There you go. The key is already trashable, so we may as well go ahead and discard this thing. Man, it was a one-shot use. Kendo, I sure hope you don't need this thing back, man. We'll take the red herb too. Now, my guy Good probably evening. wants to meet us, doesn't he? We have to shoot him in the knees to take him down. Bro, he's coming up close. Look at this crap, dude. Don't want to waste the ammo. See, it's close. Ooh, that hurt him. But he hides it. Look at that crap, man. No arms? It's the only way we can stagger it. It's not dead, though. Look. Shoot it again. Ooh, dude. Those things are much stronger. I wonder what the uh, appearance of no arms is all about, though. That was a bizarre thing to see in that zombie. Maybe the parasite seems to eat away at them, uses it as some kind of food source. I have no idea. For now, though, we just got to keep moving. There's basically one way through. I don't know where this would lead, but let's go. Is this in a house? It looks like it. What up? I hear a bubble head right now. I see a bubble head. So take the knife out. There you go, buddy. Sorry about smashing you, but for some reason, it's uh, a thing we do. Great. Yeah, look, my guy's got no arms again. It is like a recurring trend with this. Oh, Straight in the eye. Is it gonna go down though? Freak. There you go. That's it then. Maybe it's best we use the pistol ammo or. Oh, if, like we could, I would use no ammo at all, man. Yeah, we're cutting through like a house. Look at this stuff. I am also going to check upstairs before we go down. Let's see about this. I should probably switch to the shotgun. Tight corners, you know? See. Nothing else in here. There's a letter and also a spot where we can use a lockpick. The Raccoon Times Reader's Column. Uh, dear editor, I'm writing to you because I am troubled, deeply troubled. Anyone who's been a parent knows that Crystal Promenade is the place to take your kids for a trip downtown on Saturdays. And there's no store more popular or harder on a parent's wallet than Toy Uncle. However, I've noticed that on windy days, the big statue above the entrance wobbles like the only thing holding it up is a couple of screws. If that statue's head tumbles loose on a busy day, children will be badly hurt. I've complained to the manager three times now, but he just is not willing to rectify the situation. Are we supposed to wait for a terrible accident to happen before taking action? No, if the heads are going to roll, then let it be the managers. Take that death trap down. Timothy Wiles. Wow. All right, wow. Now this chest looks pretty nice. Use the lockpick. It's been a while since we've seen one of these. Please house something half decent. Okay, that will do nicely. Why is this game's inventory management system so trash? Okay, so a little bit of inventory management later, we did get the explosive rounds. Let's keep on going, guys. 
Cop car kind of shielding off from going that way there. Can we see anything back there? A couple of street lights, but that's about it. The street's awfully quiet. In fact, all these streets are so deathly silent, dude. I don't. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me! Oh my gosh! That's bro. Rocket launcher? Run! Really? What? Jill, what the freak? Hold up! Oh my god, I'm like zigzagging, dude. I need to get this like dodge work down. I need to remember the hotkeys. Oh, he's running behind. He's running behind. Dodge something. Dodge something. Dude. Whoa, that was close. Okay, more dodge. Holy crap, dude! Oh, he's up. We gotta dodge all of his hits, man. Okay, swap out to the uh, handgun for this one. Let's go, dude. Dodge out of the way. This. Bro, did he just blow himself up right there? You moron! Come close, come close, come close. Ooh, oh god. Man! Whoa! Holy bro! He gives me no chance to try to slow him down! Oh gosh! This is reminding you about all that dodge work though, dude. Wait, we're back here. There's a chance for us to find the uh, the blue thing. Jill, you okay? Can we find Carlos, it? Carlos, that monster's on my ass again. Are you it's unstoppable? Me? I thought you killed it. Look at this me guy! Too. Relentless! Keep going, come on. Woof! And again! Whoa! And again! Oh, oh, oh! That was close! Yeah. We can't go that way! How can we literally prevent this, man? Yeah. It genuinely feels like that's the only way out of this. That was the best case scenario, you know? Gosh! So what, he just gives up? Oh no. Oh no. He's coming, guys. He's coming. See that walkway there? Come on, Jill. This is our only way out of this. Gotta keep it moving right now. Is he behind us? I don't see him anywhere. Give me one second right now. I don't want to mess around with this still, dude. Take the first date. Let me just check. Okay, we've got two first dates now. Uh, okay, we're going back into the same street we were before. Do I want to seriously go looting for secrets right now, or should I just focus on getting out? Um, guys, what should I do? Okay, for now, let's just hold down. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Jill, you there? I think I know how to slow that f***er down. Okay. Head back towards the station. And lead him right to you? Uh, it's okay. Trust me. Bro, so many loose ends right now. So I don't know if he's going to be on our case or if we got like a second to chill. All this fire, we're confined to one specific way here, guys. All right, let's keep going with this. Uh-oh. Oh. Wait, the head. It was loose! Oh! Oh! oh, oh, oh. Yeah, we gotta move, we gotta move. Chill, down here, down here. Wait, up! Yo, that thing is right behind me! Oh my, oh my gosh, oh gosh. Are we good? Holy crap! Is it done? I don't know, it's still going. Is it gonna destroy the donor shop? We should probably try and get out now, shouldn't we? Bro, he was right behind us the whole time. Do I go for the case over here or not? Nah? Guys, look, there's one down here. What is this? What the freak? I got a supply case. Take it, take it, take it. I don't know what I just got. I hope it's worth it. Let's try to get those shots. Keep dodging, keep dodging. Take it, take it. Keep that. Side step working as best we can. Wait, bro! Oh, I tried dodging that. No chance. Do I gotta lead him round or something? Perfect. Perfect. Keep dodging, keep dodging. Perfect. Yo, you've gotta come back. How the freak do I get around him? There's gotta be a way. Like, maybe get out of his sight. He's gotta move, he's gotta move, he's gotta move. Oh my god, oh my god, he's busy focusing on aiming! Whoa, oh my gosh! I've got to look back instead of forward. We got around him, dodging the nemesis is key right now, dude. Let's go, let's go. I don't even know where he's at. Okay, there he is, Carlos. Be safe, brother! Be safe! Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's the back alley. Still aiming this as well. Constantly, look at that lock on! Dude, he's way too... I was about to say he's way too keen. Okay. Just get out of sight. Oh. Go. Go! Come on, forget about Just it! Just suppression fire. Are we out, though? Oh, don't worry about... Smart. Come on. Let's get out of here. That'll give us 10 seconds. Honestly, it's not gonna hold him down. Go to the subway platform. Dude, I can't believe I risked it for the supply case, though. I kind of want to see what that was all about. An umbrella branded case with useful stuff inside. Let's examine this. What do we got? Open this up. Yes! Something. Extended magazine for the handgun. Yes! Nice. We'll go ahead and combine that. So, what we got now? 33... 
That's an upgrade, and then so. Carlos, Let's keep moving. I know we didn't get off to a great start, but thanks for the save. Hey, you came in clutch, man. You saved my ass first. You're a hell of a lot braver than me. Oh, hold on, where's that bubble head at? I don't think I don't hear you somewhere. Well, what matters is that we can get everyone out of the city now. Give me yeah. a second. Uh, you'll be safe. Yeah, okay, where's the bubble head though? Oh, wow, look at that. If you come back up here, it kind of shows that things have been taking place on the surface. They've been barricaded in the front. That's a uh, pretty nice observation that we can make. We're gonna equip our grenade. Uh, in fact, no, let's unequip that just for a second. We'll make the uh, red and green herb combination and then we'll carry this with us at all times. We'll store that one away and let's take the hand grenade back. We'll keep at least one spot free in our inventory because no doubt we're gonna find some kind of item or collectible real soon. Okay, we are back here once again. What about you? Uh, from the sound of it, I won't be catching the train. Uh, wait, what? Why not? No, there'll be new orders. Okay. If it means I can help save the city, it's fine by me. Uh, who are you talking to, Carlos? Look at me. Eye contact is good, you know. Guess he kind of failed that one. <laughs> oh, what? So Carlos isn't actually coming with us? Dang, dude. I figured he would be uh, following suit, but I guess not. Guess he's waiting for us too. Let's uh, head down here, man. Yeah, look at this. These two dudes probably uh, formulating some kind of plan. Can we get in on this? Good work. Your reputation is well deserved. Mm -hmm. Get inside. The subway's about to leave. I like that guy. He's Carlos, cool, man. Tyrell, you have your orders. You need to go back out into the city and find Nathaniel Bard. Nathaniel Bard? This isn't one? the last buyer out of town, right? Do not worry. Once the civilians are safe, the train will be back. It's all right. You're going ahead. Okay. But I'm not going to die on you. Leave you in a cold, cruel, Carlosless world. All right. Okay. Smooth. You'll need to find this scientist. His vaccine research could save us all. She's listening. You see? Of course it was gonna be Nikolai. Learning. The only life that matters is your own. Okay. Good what luck. the freak in relation to what, my dude? Let's go. Let's just hope Nikolai doesn't try and like double cross us or pull some bull crap. Yeah, we got that connection going on with those two, you know. I don't know if it's love. I don't know what exactly it is. But there's something quite clearly. Steve, you don't the really think a pencil pusher like Martin is still alive, do you? I have it on good authority. Why? Are you worried about teammates? Or something else? Funny how brainless zombies can ambush a platoon like that. Funny the gate was locked. Is he calling his bullcrap? <laughs> Is this dude some like... What was that? The passengers are there! Look, Nikolai backed up! How is this girl not dead yet? Just this is unreal. Yeah, this way. What is a train carriage gonna do? Nikolai, what are you doing? This dude. It's not after you. <laughs> Nikolai! Oh man, we're gonna take that dude down once we get the chance. My <laughs> man. You are kidding me. No way. Get off my train. <laughs> Bird. This is insane. The nemesis is legit unstoppable. You see, my man literally gave his life on the spot like that just to try and take him down and give us a bit of a chance. It's a shame though, I don't know if that guy's so much in Nikolai. It's quite clear he's definitely batting for the wrong team right now, dude. I'm actually really concerned that Nikolai is gonna try and double cross us at some point real soon. He's got that terrible attitude, man. He's already showing signs. <sighs> this is not good. The, wait, the RPD? Oh, it's been a while. Subway's got to be clear of the city by now. Along with your hot date? Nah, but she's not like that. Hell, she's not like anybody. <clears throat> How's this place looking, right? Please tell me we get to play a section in the RPD. I'm ready. We're gonna take control of All right. Carlos. Keep your head screwed on, Romeo. Ooh. This is the police station. Oh, yeah. You sure? Looks Get like a cemetery room. to me. Yeah, makeshift one. Look at this, dude. Look, nothing right here has a name marked on top because these people were dropping so quick they didn't even have time to consider that. I guess burying the bodies and just sticking that in so they knew where the bodies were buried. 
that's all they could do. And look, they didn't even get to finish these ones, dude. It was two in every one of those, man. How's the world looking out front? It's fairly desolate, man. Couple of fires, couple of, uh, well, I say a couple, a lot of parks of cars. I'm not getting past clearly. Let's, uh, see what we got here. Brad, stop! Who's Dude. that? Is that the scientist? <clears throat> Gotta break it down. Come on, man. No, no. Not you too. Shoot him in the head, in the head. It's Sorry. him! Sorry! That was why he got bit! Wait... How did that zombie legit just... It's locked! Talk. Is it a different state? You it stay on the different. door! I got this one! Is it like a mini boss right now? Hold up a second! Come get some! Dude, he ain't dropping down, look at this! Uh... What the... Brad! What is wrong with you? Look, he won't go down! This is weird, guys! Bro, he won't go down. Dodge him, dodge him, dodge him. Dodge him. An unfortunate end. Okay, hold up, he's got something in his back pocket. It's, he's got the ID card. It's Brad. The uh, stars. That could be useful. Yeah, maybe. So wait, how'd he get through? The gate's locked up, right? Maybe the guy let him in? I don't know. Oh, man. Let's go through, dude. Where'd that cop go? He's got don't to be know, don't care. We got a job to do. <laughs> wow. If our intel's Magic. still worth a damn, then Bard's in the star's office. Okay. Let's find him and take him into custody. This is absolutely unreal, custody. guys. I thought this was a rescue. Is this way boarded up yet? Let me see. I'm trying to Carlos, see the story. Take a look at this. It is. Like, keep out. So that was I've locked up. The stars office. Hold up, dude. Can I pull this? No. Nope. Ah. Carlos, get your ass. <laughs> Give me a second, here. dude. Hold up. <laughs> Can't break that. I, I gotta check around here a little bit, guys. Um, now here's a weird fucking door. Leave it. <laughs> We're here for bar. Yeah, and I'm here to check around this place. Hang on. Remove the sheet. Oh, we can't move that either. Come on, there's gotta be something else we can do here. The area looks clear. Yep, I would say so, at least for now. So wait, hang on, this part right here, it mustn't take place that long after when Leon arrives into town, correct? It's uh, kinda hard to tell, but my guy was hurt when Leon got here. We've seen the bite wound. I don't know how long it takes to transform in this universe. How about this door here? And that one doesn't open either. I guess we literally just have to talk to the guy downstairs. After we, of course, get this green up right here. Thank you. Remember. Bard had access to Umbrella's darkest secrets. He knows we'll try to keep him under our thumbs. So this search and rescue mission is really more like find and detain. Hmm. Right. Good to know. Mm -hmm. I'll open the shutter so you can get through. Okay. You stay here and find out what's been going on here at the station. Call you if I find anything. Sounds a plan. Oh, this hey. is so cool, dude. Be careful. All right. Yeah. Oh, there Me goes too. the shutter. Wonder what dangers lie here. There's gonna be zombies, but will liquors be here? You know, it's these sort of dangers. I'm very interested. Let's check our inventory. We've got lots of ammo. We've got the ID card, and that's basically it. You know, we've got what we need. Nothing more, nothing less. See, can we see much through there? We really can't. Can't see much of anything, to be honest, guys. Can't examine that much. No iconic liquor walking past the window. Okay. Let's. Wait. There's people in there. We heard about this, right? We read this in the notes before. <laughs> That looks like a liquor. What the hell was that thing? I think it might be a liquor, guys. Wait, my guy down there as well. This is unbelievable how it's building on the world, man. We lift his head up. We know what we see right there. Can we do Couldn't it? Couldn't have been a zombie. No, we can't look at it. This is crazy. We're seeing so much of the world right now just come together in RE2. This was already set dressed for us, guys. Now we just simply walk through and explore. There's claw marks. See all that good stuff? We know exactly what happened here, guys. Didn't stick around. It's gone. I don't want to run, though. Uh, here it's we go. Zombie. It's all right. All right. Let's get a little bit closer. The gun has uh, quite a lot of spread. So, I hope there's nothing behind me. Let's try to take it down. There we go. Hear that thudding? It must be a zombie at a window, I think. This brand is... Freak. Wait, from where? Hold up. I'm freaking out. I don't want to move. <laughs> Whoa! Okay. Are you coming through, ma'am? Oh, she's coming through, all right. Oh, and a police officer right there. Check behind us. Okay, we don't got to worry about that. Let's uh, take these guys down first. We just rain bullets on them. Uh, I assume we're not going to be traveling the same route. We can walk right between them. There we go. There we go. It's quite quiet. Yeah, I like that. I like that. This door, though. See, we can go in here. What, what do we see? Storage room. And we can also go through there. Hey, look, it's Marvin's poster right there. Marvin Branner. 
Some missing posters too right there. Let me see. There's uh, definitely something we can find in here. Let rise rising back up. Slowly but surely. Got a flash grenade. Do I have any space for that? Got quite a lot of space. Of course, new character, new inventory. I don't know if I gotta worry about this, guys. I could probably just move. Maybe I should do that. We go through here. T, what is this? You copy? There's something real nasty in here. I don't know what it is. Lock of room. Something Cap. nasty. All right. I'll take a look with the cameras. Watch your six. We'll do. We'll do. Well, I'm over the assault rifle. Be sparing with this. Don't waste it. We'll pop open the lock here. Is this into the uh, RPD room? It's not. It's not. Oh, there's a lot of zombies. Oh, I'll stay back, stay back, stay back. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Man, I'm not even looking where I'm spraying. Oh, there's guys to my left, too. Oh, I tried to dodge that. What the heck? Off the back of my neck. Reload the gun, reload the gun. He's at least sitting down for now. I wish the reticle was a little bit higher. But we made the best out of what we got, right? Switch out. I don't know if we're going to waste time reloading, guys. Shot. Come on. Sit down. Jeez. The RPD then, prior to Leon getting here, was absolutely infested. This is wild, man. Just making sure these guys are dead. I think they're all gone for now. Gosh, this thing burns through the ammo, though, very, very fast. We go inside here. We can. Look at this. So we can literally see everything, man. We got a chest. Um, it's got a red thing. Maybe we could use the stars badge on it. Let's try it. That's what it's for. Free is that? It's a weapon upgrade. Scope. Okay. Pop this bad boy on there then. Let's see what this gives us. Oh, it gives us a nice tight spread. Okay, we'll test out on you, I guess. There we go. He should be gone. Hmm. Let me just look around here a little bit. I'm wondering if we can open this door. Now, that door remains sealed, so we can't go back to the main hall. There was something on the desk down here, though. Let's take a read. September 20, arrest report. Uh, name Rodney Gray, occupation unemployed. Charges unlawful creation and possession of explosives. The suspect was seen behaving suspiciously at 1442 Box Street on September 18th, 1998. The suspect's person was searched, producing a small explosive and a time detonator from his inside pocket, leading to arrest on the charges listed above. A search of suspect's home found more than 20 additional homemade explosives at various stages of completion. The suspect was extremely agitated and not of sound mind. The suspect spoke feverishly when questioning began, and at one point, question had to be halted due to a sudden bout of shrieking from the suspect. Once questioning was resumed, the suspect made the following statements. I didn't do it for me, I did it for you! Why doesn't anyone understand that the corpse is attacked from the shadows? He wasn't so crazy after all. A storm's coming, but this umbrella is no good. Gotta blow up or you'll be more than just wet. Gotta get more bombs. They're coming soon. Gotta hurry. Burn them. Burn the corpses. Burn them good. During questioning, the suspect began to shake violently before resuming a shrieking fit. Question was ended and a sedative administered. No, due to suspect's unstable psychiatric condition, the suspect's testimony changed from moment to moment. The suspect's delirium made any sort of dialogue impossible. We are currently awaiting the results of a doctor's investigation into suspect's condition. The explosives collected from suspect person and residents appear to be extremely powerful. As a safety precaution, a battery was removed from one detonation device. Upon its admission into evidence, the battery was secured into a safety deposit room. Interrogating Officer Wes Drucker. Okay, that's some key information about moving through this place. Right up there, also looks like some handgun ammo, and that might be everything. Uh, what the Bro, you've got to be kidding me! Oh my gosh, well he's put us in danger right now. You really can't take any risks, like... That animation played three or so times, guys. Gosh. And we have this down here. We don't know what the uh, combination could be for that. Maybe we'll be able to backtrack in time. Okay, if you're seriously not dead, dude, one more shot, hold up. He's actually dead now. You know, I feel like I'm gonna use this. Even though we're only in caution, not danger, we don't know when we're gonna encounter a liquor. Probably take these item boxes at the bottom of this corridor. We need as much stuff as we really can. Handgun ammo, whatever. Oh, green herb. Nice. Oh, I should have just used a regular green herb, man, and could have kept the uh, red and green combination. Could be worse. Could have had none. Let's see, security room. That's locked up. We need a key then. Look, no, this no. ain't gonna work, man. Locked. <sighs> You're waiting, officer. You are waiting, huh? <laughs> he thinks that we honestly believe he's dead. He's not. Oh. Wait, is he actually. He is actually dead, okay. Kind of. Of shooting cops. What's the alternative? Get bit by them? You know what I mean? Become their dinner? Seems to be it. Let's go in here. It's a safe room. A still remains. Still doing exactly what it needs to do. There's no lights in here though, man. Of course, there was a lack of power when we began the game. All right, another one of the red and green combos. Not bad, not bad. Internal memo. September 22nd, 1998. The officer supply internal relocation notice. Heat resistant three number combination safe move from stars 2F to west 1F. Okay, left nine, right 15, left seven. So that's obviously a big hint in terms of uh, moving back on ourselves. to this. There we go. Now we've got light to the whole place too. Oof. Wait, a camera? If cameras killed those things, I'd be set. Yeah, not quite. Why, let us look at that. Dude, 
if you wait long enough, the save music for this game becomes so, like, it's almost like a serenade, you know? It's so, like, orchestral, relaxing and calm. What a contrast between going out in the police station and that. Okay, so of course, we are gonna, first of all, make backtracks to the West office. We need to open that case. Nine, then we go over to 15, and then, last but not least, number seven. And that will be it. Please say you're giving me something good. Hip pouch, so we can carry even more stuff on our purse. Don't need it at the moment, but we perhaps will soon enough in that case. All right, well, familiar territory for us at least, not for Carlos. We're going upstairs, guys. We gotta go upstairs and get this done. See, this is 2F. Carlos, coming through. The star's office is up ahead. Yeah, I remember. Do Copy we that. Because like, I know if we go that way, that's the star's office. But what about one more floor up? This might be a regret. What about if I actually? Look, I see this zombie. I'm gonna stab him. Keep slicing. Keep slicing. Keep slicing. A lot of slices. Oh, he actually got me. Dang it, man. The last of the lunges is enough. Jeez, you really can't even risk anything. Oh, I took his leg off with that one. Is he done? I hope so. He's definitely gone to a calm. Okay. Ooh, the key. Wait, hold up. What's that key for? A well-worn key. So I see this officer right here. Hold up. He just ate a bullet straight up. So he better not attack me. Good, good, good. Let's uh, open this down. Green up. We'll take that. This, so this was optional. I believe I saw it say cap down below. Wait, that's not it? Okay, or not in that case. Hmm. We'll come back to that one in due time. Where did I read cap? I read it on like a board somewhere. Perhaps there was a, another thing we could have opened. Doesn't matter, guys. Doesn't matter. So we've got to go through the men's bathroom. We already know it. This way is blocked off. Looks like no optional stuff down here. Let me just check. Any prompts? Oh, nope. Why is it blocked? Is everything easy? Is out of the question, Carlos. That is exactly why it's blocked. This a bit more Carlos. You gotta see what's in there. Hello? Coming in? None of these open. Okay, uh, what about this one? Yeah, is there any more lockers we can open? Unfortunately not. Maybe this one is cap. Let's try it. Cap. Aha! I saw that on the whiteboard downstairs. Flash grenade, another one. That's two flash grenades. Before the wall was even broken through, right? And also we got a note to a friend. Hector, if you're reading this, I'm already dead. If you hear any noises coming from the locker, do not open it, please. Oh. <laughs> While you were out on patrol, I focused on finding a way to get to the other side. I realized that explosive might be our best bet. I managed to rig up a pretty good bomb, but we don't have any batteries for the detonator. I'm pretty sure I sent one to the safety deposit room during intake last week. We need that battery if we're going to knock this wall down. So I headed upstairs to find you since I know you have the safety deposit room key. As soon as I left the shower room, I was attacked. One of them bit me. I washed the wound as best I could but feel worse and worse. I hope I don't need to spell out why you must not open the locker. Please don't worry about me. Just get yourself out here as fast as you can at your buddy wets. P.S. Don't worry about that $600 I lent you. Think of it as a gift towards your upcoming move. Good luck, buddy. Oh, man. That's a shame. Now, we know all about this. Like, when we play as Leon, we open that and instantly we're greeted with him. You know what? We're gonna leave the locker closed. We'll do as he says. Okay. Mm-hmm. We'll take the electronic we'll be doing capsule. this the explodey way. Ah, exactly we will. So, I think the key we have downstairs might be the one that we need. So, I think something... I think that might have been the door making that sound. So, we did the uh, going upstairs method ahead of when we should have honestly done it. Here we go, we're back downstairs. It's very quiet. Save room just to our side. I'm not going to mess with that at the moment. Let's just walk nice and slowly. Please, no liquors be nearby. I at least don't hear them. Don't react. Don't react. Don't react. We know what happens if you react. How do we take it down? I'm thinking, guys. I'm thinking. Because we know if we shoot this guy, that's it. Instinct tells you to run, but you shouldn't. You really shouldn't. Um, what about if I flash it and then shoot the freak out of it? Wait. Is it gonna move? I'm just gonna study it for a second. It's just standing there. It's complete. It's listening, trying to, like, find something out. Doesn't know I'm here. If I throw this... We can stun it for a second. Guys, let's do it. Script it, man. Give it. So we throw that. Okay, that's stunned it. Shoot the heck out of it. Okay, we got a lot of shots on. Run. Run. Run, run, run. Okay, look for it, look for it. Here we go, here we go. Woo! Rain shots, rain shots. I don't know if it's dead. You know what? I'm gonna save real quick. You see, even with a flash, it's not a uh, complete strat down. Like, you can shoot him a little bit, but his health doesn't diminish the whole way. It just does a minimal amount of damage. Let's go, dude. So we go. I don't know if I should be sheepish around here. I think we should be concerned. DCM. DCM. That's the next one. What? Bro, where the freak you come from? Get out of here, man. I can't even dodge it, dude. I literally pressed the dodge combination. Oh my gosh. The zombies are more punishing than anything else. It's like, I can't really explain it. They have such a relaxed strat, but it's so difficult to deal with them. Just because of they just, how much they sponge really. He better be dead, dude. That's all I'm saying. Okay, I'm walking slowly right now. 
Anything back here? Okay, just not. Kind of glad about that, but come on. Come on. Just use one of the regular green herbs on its own. That brings us back to fine. That's all we need. So, I guess what we gotta do is put the card in here, right? There's two missing buttons. Maybe there's some of these we can open, actually. Hold up. We got 203. We couldn't open 203. We need to find those. And also, we can't open any of that. 104. I think we can actually use that as a combination. 104. Enter. That gives us the battery for the explosive. It's crazy how they literally gotta lock a 9 volt battery or whatever that thing is, you know? <laughs> Careful with that, Carlos. I'm gonna explode. Good stuff. Mine now. Mm-hmm. It is indeed. 106. I think there was uh, 106 that we could actually access on here. Oh, there certainly is. There we go. That gives us more rifle ammo. Because we know we're probably going to find another one of the liquors, or maybe another three or so. We could definitely get 109 as well. It's a hand grenade. Come the purple. Now, I'm genuinely curious to know that if we uh, play Resident Evil 2, are those exact lockers as well open already? Meaning that Carlos has already made his rounds here. I don't know. It's just uh, one of those observations that we could probably see. I wasn't even looking. How is his neck not broke? You know what I mean? Sit down, officer. Sit down. It's the guy at the top, right? Panic shooting. Panic shooting. Calm down. Calm down. All you do is waste ammo. Don't get up. Don't get up. Don't get up. You look a mess. Thank you. You remain seated. Okay, so we can get that weight, but we know the uh, lock at the top, I think, was DCM. So we'll try that one. Yeah, look. He's gone from there. How about that? It's kind of uh, a bit immersion breaking. We did shoot him twice already, so should have dropped. Anyway, DCM. There we go. Any ammo? Anything? Thank you. You know, that's the ammo I'm trying to save the most. It's the uh, main one we can deal with the liquor. And I think there's going to be at least one or two once we get to the star's office. So it's about to get very, very hairy. Okay, hold Carlos, up. I've hit a dead end with the terminal here. Got to head your way. What? Copy that. So wait, he's coming up. Do we wait or something? Guess we may as well combine them two together. It's better than nothing. And uh, I have actually got to fit this with the battery. There we go. Now we have a working detonator that we can set and plant on the wall over here. Maybe we got to do this and then everything else will come together. Let's go ahead and use that. Okay. Three seconds. Oof. Not long at all. Everything in the RPD heard that. That explains the hole in the wall. Look at that. We got a couple of officers coming through. Oh, man. Oh, okay. Right, we got a range shots. Got a range shots. He had 10 bullets. That's unbelievable. That's kind of annoying, actually. Okay, so. What next, bro? I can barely get a roll. You see that punch right there? Time. Punch, punch. Yo, this is actually the best way of dealing with them. Almost? Oh, come on, dude. No, I'm going to run around these guys. This is unbelievable. I'm actually going to. Somebody just jumped at me, right? I'm going to heal. Yep, yep, we got a liquor. This is really bad, guys. I'm gonna flash you, gonna flash you, gonna flash you. Flash, 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 come on, come on, come on. Get rid of that. Okay, that deals with the zombies too for a little while. We get in the star's office. We'll worry about this once we get back out. Let's go open the door quickly, Carlos! He leaves the door open, my man. It's Dr. Bard. Dr. Bard. I've been trying to reach somebody. Don't worry, we're gonna get you out of there. Just tell me where you are. I'm trapped in a goddamn hospital, surrounded by every kind of abomination. It's a matter of time, guys. Look, just send in stars. They're gonna know what to do. No, negative. RPD's overrun, too. Then figure it out! Wow, all right. Mr. South and My brother's gone crazy. They're killing all the researchers. I am the only one how do you who knows how so to easy? make a vaccine to stop the zombies. So you can either sit there with your d in your hand or send send somebody who's capable of getting me the hell out of here. I like him already. Yeah, you would. You heard what he said. Now, we can't turn him over to the company. That's not our call to make. That's Mihail's call. Now, I'm gonna check the computer, see if I can trace the doc's location. Okay. So, in the meantime, what the freak do we do? This will take some time. Look around, see if you can find anything useful. All right. Well, what about all of the freaking zombies and the liquor in the hall out there, mister? Guys, I'm going to go out there and say I love this game. I love how it's reusing RE2. This game was a joy. I all the time want to replay the remake. I just never really have the time to. So, being able to re-experience this again is so, so fun, man. Oh, I thought there was someone sat back there. What the freak? 
Let's throw the card in here. It's so nice. It is so nice. I'm really, really enjoying this story. I like the action pace to this. It's given a totally different vibe to what RE2 did. You actually felt like a novice, but in this game, you do feel a little bit like a super cop, but you've also got to worry about just about everything everyone else does. Open the door. Hold up a second. Yeah, what's up? Oh. Derailed. Was anyone Ooh, hurt? We're talking with Jill. Jill? Ah, sh. Wait, what? Jill! Jill, what happened? Jill, come in! Oh, it cut out for her. T, I gotta go. Dude, I wanted to go in the side room. I'll take care of Bart. I legit wanted loot from this room. Crap, did I just miss some optional stuff? Ah, oh, dang it, if only I'd have known. Okay, so this next part might confuse you. I actually just reloaded my save because I never checked this room here. I was curious if there was maybe something optional we could find. There was. Look, I gotta see this, guys. Report of the mansion incident. This bizarre incident occurred in a mansion owned by the Umbrella Corporation located in the Arclay Mountains. This is about Resident Evil 1. On July 23rd, Star's brother team was dispatched to the Arclay Mountains to investigate a series of mysterious and grisly murders and went unexpectedly radio silent. On July 24th, Alpha team was dispatched as well and became entangled in the events of the nearby mansion. The incident culminated in the destruction of the mansion. Casualties were numerous. The only survivors were five members of Star's. The cause of the incident was the illegal bioweapon experiments being carried out in a secret umbrella lab beneath the mansion. The T-virus being used in these experiments escaped the facility and is presumed to be the root cause of all that occurred. However, all evidence was destroyed along with the mansion, so further investigation has proven to be extremely difficult. Glad I got to see this, guys. I would have missed this. Is that Jill in the front row? Well? I think it might be. Oh, interesting. Okay, so with that done, now I'm going to skip back to where I was at the beginning. We go guys several minutes earlier the subway tunnels jill crawls out it's really nice you know how they're doing this kind of like double storyline going on at the same time we're kind of flicking between both you know different events happening just as bad for one another no one gets it easy anymore no one gets it easy hopefully there's a way we can slip through so the objective find a way above the ground look at this thing derail am i the only one who made it i think so look at the condition i wonder what happened to nikolai she sounds like she's in a lot of pain, guys. She really does. So how much more have we got to deal with? Who even knows what's behind this? Like, sewers 2.0? Like it's a save room. Oh, you know, we need this by this point. Fortunately, these shelves, though, are barren. I'd go seal in that door behind you as well, Jill. You don't know how close the nemesis is. Carlos? Come in. Come in. Carlos? This is the conversation, right? Oh, damn it. I guess I'm out of range. It's not, so we'll find out soon enough. Some mine rounds? That's interesting. Ammo for grenade launcher, hold up. Flies to its target using its own propulsion system and detonates after a short period of time or is approached. Interesting, we'll mess with that a little bit. Let me read that through. Good news, I've got some new weaponry for you that's guaranteed to put some brass back in your sacks. Okay, they're called mine rounds. These babies were developed by Umbrella's military R&D and they will light your fires even hotter than the lover you left. Oh my, what, come on, bro, who's writing this? They're tough to find and tricky to handle, but trust me, they're worth it. All right, let's take a look at the specs. Mine rounds are designed for standard issue grenade launchers that don't get cute and try to load them in anything else. Fire them at walls with the ground and they'll stay right where you put them. The sensor in the mine will detect approaching enemies and detonate when they get within range. So basically, just toss them in the enemy's path and you've got yourself a landmine. There's no such thing as unfair when you're taking on those giant freaks. So get out there and fight dirty. How recent was that letter then? Maybe that explains why the shelves are barren then. This must have been uh, some kind of travel route for people who are training. Maybe they'd keep stock down here. All right, guys, you know, this feels like a pretty good spot to leave today's episode. So we're in a pretty bad situation with Jill. The train that was taking us out of the city has been completely derailed. Everyone on board as well seems to have lost their life. It's pretty tragic. Nikolai, however, it's hard to know if he's batting for the wrong team or just simply looking out for himself and he's just an arrogant dude. It's either way one of the two. So we've got to watch out for him. It was actually really nice nice as well to go back through the RPD as Carlos. It kind of felt like it slowed the pace down a little bit from Jill always being on the run and dodging stuff. And it actually introduced me to, you know, these dodging mechanics a bit more. I've learned the importance of these and I think for the next episode, I'll try and optimize them even more so. It was really cool to play as Carlos too. It gives another perspective as well on all of these different storylines that are coinciding. It shows everyone's trying to do the right thing and uh, it's just a bit of a mishmash. Things go wrong along the way fairly consistently as would be expected with this outbreak, but you've got to just try and make the best of every situation. 
as is we are right now with a derailed train in front of us, and now we're stuck back in Raccoon City once again. Either way, guys, this is where we're gonna leave today's episode, and I really hope you did enjoy. If you did, why not drop me that like rating? And hey, if you're new around here, why not subscribe for more videos just like this one right here? So thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Of course, I hope you did enjoy, and I will of course see you on the next one.